Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Z. Welcome back to Netflix Reviews. Um, today we're talking about Infinity War, which I went and seen on opening weekend. Sorry it took me so long to do this video. But I didn't even, I'm not, I don't even want to do a review on the movie. Like you guys already know, it's awesome. It's great. It's amazing. It's a Marvel movie. They're always good. I mean, they have their goods and bads, but they're always good, you know. Um, for this one, I would just say it's 9 out of 10. Go see it. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Because there's going to be spoilers in this video. So, <laughs> don't go on any further if you don't want to hear any spoilers. But yeah, it's amazing. If I had to rank it just as a Marvel movie, I would say um, it's in the top three easily. It might go Infinity War Part 2, Thor Ragnarok, and then Captain America Civil War. That would be my 1, 2, and 3 probably i don't know i mean i have to put more thought into it but anyway just go see it it's amazing um so i had a couple theories after we got done seeing the uh, the video the, the video the movie me and dj chili beans um i had a couple theories i shot out there i thought personally that captain marvel would be introduced in part two but then i did a little research and it turns up that I, i'm pretty sure captain marvel comes out before part two her standalone movie so i do but i i have this feeling I have this gut feeling, I want to do this hot take right now, that they're going to introduce somebody. I don't know who. It's got to be somebody really powerful. That's why I thought Captain Marvel. I'm like, oh, Captain Marvel, she's basically, you know, Marvel's version of Superman. You know, she could take out Thanos. But um, if, if it's not her, I just feel like it's got to be somebody. They're going to introduce somebody nobody's expecting, you know. It's going to be like when Doomsday showed up in Batman v Superman but you know they're probably not going to spoil it in the fucking trailer like dc did so i but i think like maybe namor i don't see how namor would really be that powerful enough to really help out i think it's namor right he's like the aquaman version marvel's version of aquaman um i i just don't know but i feel like somebody will show up that's super powerful and everybody will be like oh shit um the second thing i want to talk about is i believe wholeheartedly that iron man is going to be the one that kills thanos it's got to be. I mean, the whole Marvel MCU revolves around Robert Downey Jr. He's such an ego. You know, he was the one that he wanted to make. The first Avengers wasn't even supposed to be about Ultron. But Robert Downey Jr. basically came out and said, no, I want the first Avengers to pretty much revolve around me. You know, I want to be the big hero. And if you remember at the end, he's the one that takes the nuke into the sky and then faints. And he was like the big hero of the day. And so I think that when the way they set it up, it was so emotional when Spider-Man died in his arms. That was the most emotional scene of the movie because Spider-Man's a kid and it's always a tragedy to see kids die. And he's sitting there, he's crying and he's like, I don't want to die, Mr. Stark. I don't want to, I don't want to leave Mr. Stark, you know, and he's crying like that was, it was so emotional and powerful. <laughs> and Robert Downey Jr. is such a good actor. He played it so well. And I was like, he's going to be the one that has to kill Thanos. That's why they set it up that way. And he might die in the process. I don't know. It's really hard. I know a lot of people, especially a lot of movie reviewers and things like that, and theorists, say that uh, he's going to die in this movie. In Infinity War Part Two, Iron Man's going to die because, you know, Robert's um, contract is up and things like that. But I'm just not convinced, man. I think if they throw more money at him, he'll come back for 4, 5, and 6. He will. He'll come back for Iron Man. And I think we need him to. I don't think we're done with Iron Man. I don't want to be done with Iron Man. I didn't really like Iron Man 2 all that much, and 3 didn't blow me away either. His best movie was his first one, and we've seen what they were able to do with Cap 2, or Cap 3, and Thor 3. You know, they were the best movies. Not their first one, although I love Thor 1. It's up there. But, <clears throat> you know, Robert Downey Jr. hasn't peaked since Iron Man 1, except for in the Avenger movies, and movies that aren't really his. He's just in. So I feel like if they threw money at him, he'd be like, yeah, I'll come back for four, five, and six. Why not? It's not, I mean, it's not like it's a physical feat that he needs to come back for, you know? Like, he doesn't have to be in great shape like Thor or Captain America, you know? He doesn't have to be this peak physical condition. He can be a little bit older. He wears an iron suit. That's his power. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't have to work super hard at it. So even though people are like, oh, he's aging, he's getting too old for the role. No, he's not. Just stop it. He's not getting too old for the role. He'll be just fine. He's main. He's like 99% CGI in his movies. And the scenes that he aren't in, for the most part, he's, you know, he's not doing any action. And if there are, if there is action being done, it's a stunt man. So he's fine. He's not an old man walking around on a cane out here in these streets. Like, I don't know what people are talking about. He is fine. He would be good for another 10 years, easily. Especially, you know, movie stars nowadays to stay young forever. Look at George Clooney. Young forever. Has no problem. 
we could get another five, ten years out of Robert. So I think that there's a good chance he'll come back. He might die killing Thanos. But my overall point to this theory is I think wholeheartedly, and if in your heart you would know it too, as soon as you saw Infinity War Part 1, you're like, they're setting it up for Iron Man to be the one that kills Thanos. But like I said, I think he's going to have to have a lot of help. He killed all the most powerful people. He beat Thor down like a rag doll. Even though that, and that makes me mad because Thor won that fight. Thor technically killed him. And then he undid it all and killed everyone. I was like, ah, that's cheap. That's a cheap shot. Fuck, man. Because I was pretty much setting it up. Like, the Hulk couldn't do it, but Thor could. That settles the bet. Thor's stronger than the Hulk. Which, the Hulk is incredibly dumbed down in the MCU, in my opinion, anyway. We've seen Thor beat his ass already a few times. And it seemed like in the comic books, you know, the Hulk was just a stop. Thor wouldn't have had a chance. The Hulk would have ripped his arms off, threw him in the bushes somewhere. But um, I'm going on a rant. But anyways, so those are my two big theories. I think that the movie's going to end with Iron Man killing Thanos, maybe dying in the process. Not sure there. And that, you know, they're they're going to introduce somebody. I just feel like they will. I think it would be amazing if Venom was in this movie. I really would. Like a symbiote. Thanos trying to fight a symbiote. I, I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, it could because technically Fox has said that Basically, Fox annoys me because they're basically like, we're not sure if the Spider-Man universe is crossed over with the MCU. Like, what do you mean? You're not sure. Make up your get mind. Like, Spider-Man's in both. Okay, I get that. Spider-Man, they're basically saying Spider-Man's in the MCU, but then all of his standalone movies aren't going to be, or, you know, his villain movies aren't going to be. What, what are you talking about? Stop trying to confuse people, Fox. This is why you fucked up in the past. This is why your business motto hasn't worked and you had to rent them out to Disney in the first place. Just come out and say it. Yeah, he's part of the MCU. Uh, maybe, and it might be Disney. They're like, uh, I, don't know. I don't know if we want anything to do with your properties. You know, I don't know if this Venom, we, we want to associate our name with this Venom movie. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's Disney. More than likely it is. Disney's scared. Because Fox is like, oh yeah, great, bring us on board, this fucking amazing franchise you have going on. But I would love it, like Venom, and an Avengers movie, are you kidding me, I'd nerd out. <laughs> I would love it. Some other people too, like I, I just feel like they're going to bring some some more characters in, I and they're going to kind of take a page from the DCU's book, you know. They're going to bring them in for Avengers, 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 Avengers War, Infinity War Part 2. They're going to bring them in and then do their solo movies. I think it would be a nice change of pace because honestly, at the rate they're going, I'm just getting bored. Like Ant-Man was the last one. Ant-Man was done so good and it was really special. But even with Ant-Man, I was kind of like, okay, we get it. You know, it's an origin story. We get it. They're all the same. Every every origin story is the same. Go back and look at them. The hero falls. Then something happens and he's created. He's reborn. Captain America fell, you know, and then he was reborn and built into this super soldier. Well, I guess he fell even after he became a super soldier. But you get my point. Thor got his powers taken away. Came back at the end and won. Ant-Man got beaten down then came back and won they always get beaten down and then they come back and win it's getting old it's the same formula it's action it's comedy it's losing the beginning winning the third act we can all see it coming that's what chili beans was talking about in his review dj chili beans he said he was like i i got halfway through black panther and i almost walked out he's like it was an amazing movie he gave it like a seven out of ten he's like it was incredible i enjoyed it he was like, but halfway through the movie, I saw the whole plot. I knew everything that was going to happen. It's not exciting when that when it's like that. We need to change. That's why Infinity War did so good, because the bad guy won. There was no fall of the hero, then rise of the hero. It was fall, 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 fall. Everyone's fucking dead. There's like two heroes left. I don't even remember which ones they were. I think it was like Iron Man and Rocket Raccoon. Or something. <laughs> That's it. Everyone else is dead, flat out. And they, Iron Man and Rocket Raccoon aren't gonna beat Thanos by themselves. I hate to say it. So they're gonna introduce some people. Either that. Well, I mean, 
I really, me as a fan, I'm hoping they introduce some people. But since they are having the Captain and uh, Marvel solo movie first, then that pretty much confirms she's in it, right? So they are going to have like their Superman character in there. So maybe that's their plan. Oh, let's do that. That would be so boring. I would be so disappointed if they do that. Cause that, you can see that coming a mile away. Okay, let's do Captain Marvel and then Infinity War Part Two. Captain Marvel kicks the shit out of Thanos, but then Iron Man has the final blow. You know, like Captain Marvel's distracting Thanos, getting him weakened. They're brawling, they're going at it, and then Iron Man comes and just stabs him in the back or something. It have to be a headshot. We already know that. If you're gonna kill Thanos, you gotta shoot him in the head. That's the only way. If you injure him, he's gonna snap his fingers and make you disappear. So, and I don't even know how they're gonna fight him. How do you? How are they gonna get close enough to get in a fight with this dude? There's gonna like time travel element or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, we all know they're gonna win. We just don't know how. But I don't know. I'm going on a rant way off the fucking rails i don't know i'm just i like to sit i like to have a good time i like to speak with you guys and just throw thoughts around you guys are great about leaving comments and theories your own ideas and stuff and i love it i love engaging with you guys so those are just my thoughts let me know what you guys think i really hope you guys enjoyed my rant it's not even a review it's just a rant so i hope you guys enjoyed it but as always thank you for watching feel free to leave a like and subscribe i'm the one and only z bye bye